We all remember that scene, an iconic scene from Rocky, where Sylvester Stallone's Rocky Balboa runs to the top of the steps at the Philadelphia Art Museum, the site, one of the most visited tourist attractions here in Philadelphia, the city that's known for the Liberty Bell and Independence Hall. Those steps among the top visited film locations in the country. I caught up with voters ahead of the start of the convention this week, getting their thoughts on what they want to hear from Hillary Clinton, and I couldn't leave without getting a little workout myself. I see a lot of energy in the city so far. A lot of the delegates is coming. A lot of people who are supporting the Democrats are here. We're energized. We're ready to go. We're fired up and we're ready to go and just waiting for Hillary to give us the more positive message so we can take it back home. What do you want to hear out of this convention? What I want to hear out of this convention is in stark contrast to the Republican convention. We've got a dark message that America is doomed and whatnot. I want to hear positivity, that we're on the right track. Hillary is going to keep us on the right track, and we're Americans, and we've got to bond together as one. Anything that you're afraid of? Of anything that you have concerns about going into this convention? Not at all. I'm from the south side of Chicago, so I don't I don't fear very easily. And I know the, the good people of Philadelphia and Philly's finest will keep us all safe. The positive message about the economy, about national security, what do you see that you want to make sure she highlights? Listen, Hillary Clinton is the most qualified candidate ever to run for the presidency. Amen. Even my homeboy, Barack Obama, <laughs> she's more qualified than him. But uh, with that in mind, Hillary has been a Secretary of State, been a Senator. She knows all the players. She'll get the job done. Unlike Donald Trump, who believes he can do it alone, she's saying we all have to do it together, and I agree with that. Did you watch any of the RNC last week? Oh, I watched every minute. How was it? It was uh, surprising in a lot of respects. Uh, I think Donald and Donald, and uh, he said things that we wanted to hear, but the question is, will he be able to do it if he were elected? But at least he knew what he wanted to do. What do you want to hear from Hillary Clinton when she gets up there to accept her party's nomination? What do you want to hear in that speech? I want her to say what she will do for this nation. I'm history, but what, what does she see the future of the United States is and what she will do as the president that will make that happen. I'm looking for a good candidate and I want to see something come out of this so I can make a good decision on, you know, who should run this country. Any messages or issues that you think will be highlighted the most? It will energy. I want to see some energy. I mean, if you're a Democrat, you're going to be a Democrat. But will I pull my friends in? Will I do the extra thing necessary to kind of put Hillary or whomever we end up picking over the hump? Any worries from your standpoint? We were all worried about security going into the other convention. What, I what mean, about? You, you worry, but I always my view that 99% of folks are great. We got a great country. It's a great city. Uh, we just keep an eye on some of those problems, folks. I think it'll be fine. I'm not concerned. Let's see we're going to enjoy today in the whole convention. How do you get that independent in on Hillary's uh, corner? It's about getting the energy. I want to see something said that'll make me take it back to Illinois and kind of rile up my friends so we can get out the boat. You want her to take a victory lap at the end of this like Rocky did? Without question. With the hands <laughs> on high, baby. Yeah.